Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys commenting on my videos and showing me love and support. Okay guys, so for the first pair of sunglasses, I'm going to start off with my Saint Laurent sunglasses. They do come in this black leather case that has Saint Laurent heat stamped here on the front. And this is a very good um, quality case. And as you can see here, Right there, it says Saint Laurent. Are these beautiful? It's like a very um, brownish. Well, obviously, it's brown. It's a brown tortoiseshell. And on the back of the sunglasses, let me move in. I'm not sure if it's focusing. Okay, so for the first sunglasses, I have the St. Laurent's. I do not know the model and style of the sunglasses. Um, if you flip the sunglasses over on each arm, it says St. Laurent in black and silver cursive writing. Um, I think these sunglasses are super duper cute. Um, this is what they look like on, and I like to wear them just a little bit lower on my nose but I thought like these sunglasses are like very edgy and I feel like this is in right now I feel like it will stay in style but these just give me like those chill cool vibes for the summer and I really can appreciate this sunglasses and I'm going to give you guys some close-ups of the sunglasses as well so here is the first pair. All right, guys, so for my second pair of sunglasses, I have my Tom Ford sunglasses, and I really love these. I featured these in a uh, birthday luxury haul, and uh, these are also tortoiseshell. I absolutely love tortoiseshell sunglasses. Um, it has the gold T on each end of the sunglasses. It says Tom Ford polarized. These are polarized shades and I super duper love these for driving. It's perfect. You got the sun out of your eyes. You're able to see everything nice and clear and beautiful. So these are like my favorite sunglasses. So for the detailing on the sunglasses, like I said on the front, it just has the T on the ends where the arms are and then on the back it extends out and it's all in this gold detailing and then it also has Tom Ford printed here on each end of the arms. These sunglasses are super cool to me. Um, they just give me the vibes that I'm looking for for like an everyday sunglasses. I just like to be casual, but I still want it to be fabulous. So these give me that. Um, these are a very big square frame, which I love. And they kind of resemble the Celine sunglasses that look just like this. And I wasn't able to find the Celine one. So this was like a dupe for the Celine. And like I said, these are Tom Ford. All right, so for the next sunglasses that I have here, these are my Celine glasses. Like I said, I do not know the uh, model of the sunglasses, but I will try to list everything down below in the description box so that you guys can check it out. 
So it does come with this little zippy pouch, which I love because it's easy to just put it in and out of your purse. It's not too bulky, it's nice and thin. So for the Celine glasses, this is what they look like. So they they are black. This is a black pair of sunglasses and it has gold detailing. Um, the top is plastic, the bottom is metal frame. And it's kind of like a cat eye situation just a little bit. And on the side of the sunglasses, it says Celine Paris in gold. And that's pretty much it. But um, these sunglasses, for me, is just like on the wild side because it's not something that I would typically wear as far as a sunglass. I just don't feel like for everyday wear is the most flattering for me. So this is just a every now and again sunglasses and I think they're super cute. The detailing is amazing. The quality is amazing. They're nice and heavy. I prefer my sunglasses to be heavy because I'm not very I'm not very careful when it comes to my sunglasses. Like, you know, I don't want to have to um, make a mistake and drop them and they break. So I do prefer heavier sunglasses. I just feel like it makes the quality and the longevity of the sunglasses last much longer. So for my next pair of sunglasses, I guess I might as well go ahead and get all of the designer ones out of the way. So for my next sunglasses, it comes in this beautiful velvety case and it's almost like a little clutch situation. And on the front here, it says Gucci, which, you know, these were my favorite. No, they are still my favorite sunglasses. Like, I feel like this shape is the most flattering for me and the shape of my head. Um... I just think these are super duper beautiful and I've had these for about three or four years and they've just been working for me. Oh, I do need to clean them. Okay, so these are the Gucci sunglasses and they are more like a rounded square shape. And on the side detailing, it has the Gucci sign and then it has two crystal stars. And I think that's just like super duper beautiful. It's super duper like fancy, bougie. And then on the ends, it does have like this little gold B um, on the ends of the arms. So let's try these on. So these are the Gucci sunglasses and I really love the frame. It definitely protects your eyes from the sun. They're nice and big so you have a lot of protection. And I just love these. Let me know if you love these. They just give like that vibe. Like I'm fancy. So yes, these are one of my favorite sunglasses and I believe these are like the Gucci Havana. Um, I'm going to try to find everything. I do have like the cards and stuff that come with the sunglasses. Let's see, is it in here? No. And that's just like the authentic, authentication, oh, let me just, the authentication card that comes with all of the sunglasses. Okay, so... For the next pair of sunglasses, here we have the case, nice and blue in that soft velvety material. And if you open it up here, it has the red nice lining in the inside. And as you can see, these are going to be a pair of Gucci sunglasses, which I super duper duper love. Um, they're also a more edgier pair and uh, it also all of the sunglasses guys do come with the little cleaning cloth so you don't have to worry about that it does come with it 
So these Gucci shades, they do also come with this little satin bag that says Gucci. It's another way that you can carry your sunglasses just to make sure that they are protected and that they're not getting scratched. So these sunglasses are, they are a little funky. The style of them, I feel like this is like, this is an old trend, but it's also coming back around. And you see a lot of people wearing these thinner sunglasses. And I think it's just super cute. It gives me like 90s vibes. And like the 90s were my time. So I can appreciate anything from the 90s. Um, so like I said, yes, these are Gucci sunglasses. They are black and it's a plastic frame. Now, when you open the sunglasses up, there is this white pearl kind of um, material. And I don't exactly know what it's called, but it reminds me of like pearl or like some kind of seashell um, that has some iridescence in it. Um, as you can see, you have the Gucci sign here on the end. And it just has kind of like this thick siding and then it gets thinner. So I haven't worn these yet, but I love them. Oh, my goodness, I need my nails done so bad. It's like snagging at my hair. Okay, so yes, yeah, so these are the Gucci ones, the little thin sunglasses, and I really, really do like these. Let me know. I don't know. I feel like this isn't the most flattering size for my face, but I do really like the sunglasses, so I'm still going to wear them if they don't fit so well, but I really like these. So moving on to the next pair of sunglasses, let's see what we have here. The next pair of sunglasses, this is the last pair of designer sunglasses that I have and it is my Ray-Bans. I've had these for a long time. You know, it comes with the Ray-Ban case, it comes with a cleaning cloth. And these are like the blue tinted aviators so it fades from like blue to kind of like white gold um these are super old I don't really like these anymore I feel like for my face shape I need bigger frames because my head is kind of big so I feel like only bigger frames are the most flattering for me but I do love these Ray-Bans this was my Second pair of designer sunglasses, the first pair I lost, and they were like Dolce & Gabbana aviators, and they were tortoiseshell, but this is my second pair of designer sunglasses, and like I said, I've had these for like six years, so yeah, I love these, you know, when you just want to do a little aviator, nothing too crazy, then like Ray-Bans are perfect for that. Whoa. Okay guys, so for the next pair of sunglasses, these are going to be a more affordable glasses. Um, they are plastic frame, cat eyes, and tortoise shell. I got these sunglasses at Walmart and I love them. Um, I wanna say they were probably like six or seven bucks. And I really love these sunglasses. Um, they just are super cute. And I love the tinted um, lenses on here. How it has like that gradient effect where it fades. These are super cute. Like you couldn't even tell that I paid seven bucks for these. Um, so I really do love my little Walmart glasses. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find these. But if I can, I will link them down below. Um, the next pair of sunglasses, well, these have makeup on them. 
Okay, um, guys, okay. These are some black frames. They're kind of thick and rectangular. And I got these sunglasses from H&M. And I can bet you they were probably under $15. So they were super affordable. And I think these are okay. I'm not too crazy about them. Um, I don't wear them a lot for that reason. I'm not super crazy about these. But they are cute. It depends on what you have going on for the day. If you're wearing all black, you know, you can put on some black sunglasses to pull your look together. Okay. The next pair of, I didn't even know I had these sunglasses. So the next pair that I got is from H&M as well. And these are these little round tortoise shell frames with black lenses. And I think these are super cute, but again, not my style. I don't wear these a lot because I don't find them to be super cool. I don't know. Let me know. Y'all like these? Next pair of sunglasses that I have here are from Boohoo, and these are super old. Um, again, these are tortoise shell, and they are supposed to be like a Celine replica, except it doesn't have those little three dots on the front. Um, but they remind me a lot of the Celine sunglasses, which I really love. And that was definitely like one of my wish list sunglasses. So this was like a great dupe and I can only imagine these are under $10. Um, I got these a long time ago so I'm sure I won't be able to find them. But I will link some Celine dupes down below for you guys. The next little pair of sunglasses that I have here, they are also super funky. I got these ones from Amazon and I got these initially before getting the designer ones just to try out the style to see if it was something that I would be interested in. And I found these sunglasses to be like super duper cute. Um, I just love wearing them when I have my hair braided. It just gives it like a whole edgy look to it. And these are very wide rectangles and I think these are super cool and it kind of reminds me of those black Gucci sunglasses that I showed you guys. I really love this look for me. So if you are into like thinner sunglasses, like this is a great pair to have. They're very cool. And like I said, I got these from Amazon and I want to say they were somewhere between between 10 and $12. Okay. The next pair of sunglasses that I have are these little peach sunglasses. And I do not know where I got these from. These are super old. But I do love a pop of color for sunglasses. And these give me um, Lil' Cam hardcore vibes. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just think these are cute, but like I said, these are also very old. I probably got these from a beauty supply store, and they probably were like five bucks. Um, the next pair of my sunglasses are Key Australia. Wow. I haven't worn these in so long, and I can't even open it. They're not that old though. I don't know what's going on there. But these are an aviator and it has this, um, what would you call this? It's like a red tint to it, a reddish purple tint. And I thought these were like super cute when I got them and then I never really wore them because it's just a bit much for me. I don't really like mirrored that's what it is i don't really like mirrored sunglasses i just don't find it to be cool that everything that you're looking at reflects in your sunglasses but if that's your thing then cool but i don't know i don't really care for these that much they are cute but not my style these did come with a case but i think i lost it 
And for my next pair of um, sunglasses, these are the Key Australia Jacqueline Hill collection. And like I said, you guys, I do like a pop of color. These are yellow with a tinted yellow lens. And these are super cute and super fun. Super funky. And it just says key. Uh, there's nothing too spectacular about the sunglasses as far as like the detailing. They're pretty basic, just uh, clear yellow lenses with, yeah, but I think they're cute. Okay, and then for my last pair of sunglasses that I have, and I have like definitely narrowed I've definitely narrowed down my sunglass collection because I would just, I was so obsessed with sunglasses that I would just buy a whole bunch of them. And like, I'm just not so into so much fast fashion as I used to be when I was younger. So I tried to invest into my pieces versus spending so much money on things that will not last by having to buy it so many times I just prefer to save and invest in a good pair of sunglasses and a good pair of sunglasses doesn't have to mean designer but it could be um something I would say like an entry level sunglasses like the Key Australia um I feel like these are very affordable but they are still good quality sunglasses it's just like I don't want to waste all of my money on five dollar ten dollar sunglasses because they don't last and you'll end up buying a ton of them so these are a new pair that I got they are this beautiful purple and pink tinted aviators with the gold frame and I love these I feel like this is the perfect size aviator for my face for my face shape and I don't know I can't wait to wear these these are just so super cute and feminine and I love a good color sunglasses so I'm here for it and I definitely like these better than the other two pair that I have I feel like these are more my speed and I think these are super cute Alright guys, so that was my last pair of sunglasses for my sunglasses. Let me know what you guys think about my collection and if you are really into sunglasses as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. And thank you guys for tuning in to another video. You guys have a great day.